Hey our friends, today we're going to be drawing a kid going back to school. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. I'm super excited for school. How about you? I am very excited, actually. Yeah, I know. Because you get to hang out with your friends and yep. learn new stuff. Yes. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our kid's face. And we're going to draw the nose first. Let's draw an oval shape right here in the middle of our paper. And the cool thing about this lesson too is that you can change it so that the kid looks like yourself, yeah. the, the person. You can add extra details so that it looks just like you, or you could draw it for somebody else. Let's also add the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle on the left, and also a circle the same size on the right. Then we can draw a smaller circle or oval in the top left of each eye for the reflection to make the eyes look shiny. Yeah. And let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. I'm actually going to draw mine as a, a girl. You could draw yours as a boy. Okay. And you can add as many different details as you want. You don't have to draw exactly like me. So I'm adding eyelashes. Now let's also draw the face. I'm going to start here. We're going to draw a big letter U. So I'm going to start here. We're going to draw a big letter U for the chin. And we're going to keep going around and up next to the other eye. And then let's draw the mouth. I like turning my paper sideways. Sometimes that helps. We're going to draw another U shape underneath. And you can also add little cheek lines too. <laughs> Next, let's add the top of our kid's head. And you can add curly hair. You could also add a baseball hat. You could add all different kinds of things. I might add straight hair. So I'm first going to just connect the top of the head with an upside down U shape. And if you wanted to do curly hair, you could add lots of uh, U shapes that are connected together. Oh, that looks awesome. And then I'm going to draw a, let's draw the ears next. So I'm going to draw a letter C here and a backward C for the other side. And then for the hair, maybe I'm going to add straight hair. So I'm going to draw two little curves that come up like this. And then maybe some zigzag lines that come across her forehead like this to connect to the other side. Oh, I like yours. That's Thank awesome. You. <laughs> you could also add, oh, let's draw little texture lines on inside the hair. So you could draw different texture. Oh yeah, just like that. You're doing great. I love that you're changing yours to make it look different. I'm going to add these curves that come all the way over to the other side. And if our art friends need extra time, remember you guys can pause the video and add your own details. That looks really cool, Jack. It kind of <laughs> looks like your hair. Yeah. That looks awesome. Okay, I'm even going to add maybe a ponytail or a piggy tail on each side. So I'm going to draw little curves here. And then also I'm going to draw hair coming down this way and curving up. And the same thing over here on this side, curving up. And then I'll draw the other side of the little piggy tail that curves, makes an S curve. Oh, this is so much fun. I love drawing with you. Okay. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm going to add more texture lines inside for her hair. And you could add flowers. You could add uh, maybe, you could even add little ladybugs or a bow. That'd I'm, be awesome. I'm going to leave it just like that. Okay. Okay. Now let's draw their bodies. We're going to start by drawing a big letter U coming down from the chin. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw a big letter U comes down around and then back up to the other side. Let's also give our kid a book that they're holding. So right here, I'm going to draw a straight line across the body. And let's make the book thicker. We're going to add the pages so it's tipped a little bit towards us. And then let's also draw the bottom of the book down here. And we can also draw our kid hanging onto the book. We're going to draw a backward C here for the hand and a frontward C over here for the other hand. Then we can also add two lines for the fingers inside of each of those shapes. And then let's draw the arms. We're going to draw them coming down right here 
and then bending at the elbow and connecting to the hand. And let's draw that same sideways V shape over here on this side to match. So bend out by the elbow and then back in. Then let's draw the t-shirt that our kid is wearing. We're gonna draw a little line that comes in like this and then up, it looks like a check mark or a V. And then let's do that same letter V check mark on the other side. And then we can draw the other side of the arm coming out of the shirt and connecting to the hand. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll come out a little for the elbow and then connect in. Now let's draw the legs. We're gonna draw a line right down the middle from the letter U. And then we're gonna draw the outside of the legs and these lines are gonna be shorter than the inside one. So we'll start here and we're gonna come down like this on each side, but shorter. And then let's draw the bottom of the feet. We're gonna draw a straight line across that goes past on each side. It goes past these lines, yeah. And then this is gonna curve down and then connect for the toes. <laughs> now let's draw the shoes. We're gonna draw a curve here at the bottom where the ankles are. And then we can draw the socks and also the shorts. Now you could change these. If you wanted your kid to wear pants, you could draw pants instead. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's also draw the bottom of the shoes. We could draw another shorter line on the front, the middle, and the other side, or on each side and also the middle, and then connect them at the bottom. What's our kid missing? A backpack. Yeah, we're missing a backpack. And when you go to school, you have to have a backpack. So we're gonna draw the straps on each side of the shoulders. And then let's also draw the backpack coming out from the chin and then connecting to the shoulder. So a little curve on each side. Then we're gonna imagine that going behind the arm, connecting here, and then coming out the bottom and then connecting back into the, the kid's body. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So imagine it going behind the arm, behind the arm again, and then connecting to the bottom. Oh, we could also add a little detail. I'm gonna draw a little zipper sticking out to the side. <laughs> Jack, we did it. We finished drawing our kid going back to school. Oh, we're not completely done though. We still need a color. Yes, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You could also add a background. Maybe there's more kids going back to school or even a bus. You could also draw the school. Oh, that would be really cool. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yes. Did it. We finished drawing and coloring our kids going back to school. I love how they look all colored in. Same. We used our biannual markers to color with. But you can use whatever you have at home. Yeah, you could use crayons or even watercolor. Remember to also complete your drawing by adding a background. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your kids going back to school. Yeah, and we also hope that you have an awesome school year this year. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.